Hi, I'm back with another video, and this time it's my what we did today, um, which is Friday, September 15th. Um, I put up a Wendy's Frosty Pumpkin Spice video. I'm sorry if I saw that out of breath. I had just gotten home when I made that. I waited a little while before I made this one. I had actually fallen asleep for a few hours after I got home and ate. But, um, anyways, we went to a bunch of antique stores, and when I say a bunch, we went to probably between 6 and 10 antique stores. Of course, I didn't buy at every one of them. As you can see, I didn't buy at every one of them. So, when we went, we had decided to go, I think I said in one of my previous videos that we decided we were going to go anti to the antique stores this week. We talked about going yesterday on Thursday, but changed it to Friday. And so, we headed out. The first place we went to, um, I can't remember if that's the one that GPS had us all willy-nilly all over the place. We had gotten lost. We ended up at a recycling place <laughs> and found an ATM place, ATM sitting out there. I think I've been there before. I'm having deja vu about that place before. And we were like, is that an ATM? And I'm like, at first I'm going, no, that's got to be a part of the recycling. But it was the ATM. And then we ended up at like a couple of construction areas and then we turned around. So we finally get to the place, and um, I'm not basing the review on that one on my opinion because they, when we get in there, some of the booths are not open, which we did not know that because it said it was opened up at, I think it was like 10 or something, and some of the booths weren't open, and we were like, okay. And then Carol, she found something for $3, and she goes, I need to call the person, and I'm like, call the person? There was a sign up saying to call the person to in for the booth. So she called the number, and the person came over. Some guy had stopped and asked if we were paying, if she was paying with cash or car, she told him. And he goes, okay. And so he kind of was standing around waiting, I guess, for the guy to show up. And then we found out that you have to pay each one individually. And we were both like, okay, so there's not a pay area. You just pay them you know as you go along and one place had cash only on their sign when they do open up so we were both kind of undecided on that i mean they did have a few cute things in there i was going to i would have probably checked out there was one booth they had some stuff in the corner but i couldn't get to it i'm like how are you supposed to get over there and look at it because they had some real cute things up there uh the booth where i think the guy she bought from i couldn't figure out the price on something i couldn't get in it and i didn't want to have to wait for somebody to open it because I didn't know if the guy that was standing there could open it or if we had to wait for the person who was taking the money so that one I said we may have to go back to and maybe at a later time and maybe they will uh, all the booths will be open because one sign on it I couldn't tell if it was 945, 1045, 1145 when they opened up so that was kind of a little disappointing and then the next place we went to um, I think that was the place Carol wanted to go to um, we ended up once again GPS had us all willy-nilly and lost it sent us to this one building and she's like I think it's this one and we I kept looking at it, I'm like I hope this isn't it because it looked like it was all um, padded up or something and stuff outside and I'm like I hope it's not this building because I told Carol if it was that building she was going in first I said I'm, I'm usually daring about going into some of these places like the one antique place that she said it, she thought was someone's house or they were using a house and I said I'm willing to go up there and look and if I have to give you a signal to you know head out and run I said you'll see me see me run behind you but this place I'm like you're going first so we determined it wasn't that one that GPS had gotten us to the wrong location so we rerouted it and tried again and finally found it and I told her that the building has some kind of writing or something on the front of it. So I said, off to the side. So I'm going, that's the building. And then there was like a like a 7-Eleven near them or something. And so when we finally got over there, sure enough, found the 7-Eleven and then found the writing on the building. And they had some really cute things. I was going, I need more money. I'm like, once bills are paid and groceries and, you know, that kind of thing. I'm like, got some more money coming. It's like... I'm going, they had some real cute things. I was looking at some of the little figurines. They ranged from like 25 and up. And so I was like, oh, there was one. It was so pretty. I forget how much it was. I can't remember if it was 25 or 45. I had debates on buying it because I'm like, it's so pretty. I'm like, I think I'm going to hold off. And then they had some real cute, um, like little glassware 
and then I'll just all kinds of little cute little like knickknacky things. I saw one of the little half dolls was attached to something. I thought about asking the person to come over so I could see the price because I thought I could see it. And so I was kind of like, I don't know. So I decided not to, but they had some real cute things in the cases. And the only bad thing was walking up and down, like they had some stairs. It's like you walk up a stair and then all of a sudden you come and go a few feet and there was another one and it was kind of steep on them little stairs they had. So, but they had real cute stuff. Carol's like, I want to come back to this place because they had, she's like at Christmas. She goes, I can imagine how pretty it's going to be and all the Christmas stuff. So that one was fun. And then we found out the next door to them. We didn't stop her in the future go to this place. But we were going past and I was kind of glancing behind me. And I'm like, there's a vintage place not that far away from that place. I'm guessing they're not attached. And I said, maybe that's where the writing is. It's just two different you know, building, but I saw two people sitting outside, and on the building, it had, like, a Marilyn Monroe poster, and it had vintage stuff, signs up, and then it had, I could see inside, kind of through the door, being open, that they had glass cases full of stuff, and I'm like, we're gonna have to go back and go there, and so Carol's like, I wish I had stopped off, and we could have checked, she goes, but in the future, when we go back to that place, so that's a favorite place we both liked, and then we went to another place that I had seen, um, online and we decided not to go in because Carol, Chuck was like you're going to that place that we've been to in the past it's super expensive and Carol was like no it, it doesn't look like anything like the place that we went to that one time and it was we found out it was the place that Chuck had said it was super expensive that they'd gone to and they didn't look like we couldn't tell if they were open if they had anything because she said when she went we, her and Chuck went the place was full of stuff and it was expensive so we couldn't tell if they were open and then we turned around because when we were going past to get to that place, we had seen another antique store that we didn't realize. And when I checked my saved section that I have of antique stores that I had wanted to go to, it was listed on there as nearby and it was saved. So we went back and that was another place that was just had such cute stuff. We were both like, we want to go back to that place. So we were kind of excited that we found that one. And then we went to... Um, I think there was another place to go where we go next. I can't remember what the next place was because at least two of them, like I said, we didn't go to. Oh, then there was another one that um, we were talking about that was nearby, but that one was by appointment only, and we couldn't figure out why it was by appointment only. And then the review said it was wholesale, so we're like, never mind. Then there was another place I'd heard about that I told her, I said, if we go to, just be warned that you're not going to buy anything. Because Carol said, I don't know if I want to go there. And I said, but just be warned that you're not gonna buy anything because according to all the reviews I saw on it people someone called it a tourist trap and said I think the only thing you could afford in there was their t-shirts they sell and most people said just have the open mind you're not gonna buy anything and just go in and look at the pretty stuff and the architecture stuff because they were selling like stained glass I think glass still stained glass windows for like I think it was like a five thousand or something five hundred dollars for a door a thousand for something else and people were like that's just ridiculous and very few people said they bought anything so I warned her they would just be ready not to buy anything so we're still on up on arms on that one and then um, we f there was another place she had marked and I think I had marked on my phone and we went there and I think this is where I got it they had some real cute stuff there so I'm hoping to go back there too again so this is where the little haul thing comes in. I had decided not to um, spend a lot and decided that whatever I want, I, whatever I got, it would have to be something real special, real cheap, real cute, you know. And that's where I was talking, I think, about getting that figurine because even though it was like, I said, I can't 25 or 45, I, but then I decided I didn't want to get it because I was afraid that would be like the one and only thing. And I, since I didn't know where I was going to, all the different places, you never know what you're going to find. So when we got to this place, I'd done really good. I was like, I hadn't bought anything. And then Carol saw this on the counter. And she knows how much I love the little hand vases. And she's like, it's so pretty. I forget how much this was. It was under 10, I believe. But as soon as she saw it, she's like, it's so pretty. I like that. And, she, and so I was like, well, that's not a bad price. And I think I have this marked on my phone under things I wanted that I've seen, vintage items vintage antique retro things that I've got listed that I want and I was like I've seen this one before so I'm super excited that she found that one 
And then as I was paying for this one and I thought I was only getting one item, I saw this on another counter off to the side. And I was like, oh my gosh, how did I miss this? Because I would have probably picked it up and you know, bought it when I saw it. But um, it said it said like little gift on it. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be for. Like, I, I know it's supposed to be for, like, a porcelain tea set, because when I went looking online to see if I could find anything about it, it had it under, like, two or three different, like, um, tea sets. Because I saw one that said Vintage, one that said Cracker Barrel, um, something else. And so, I was like, I was just curious to know if anybody knew what it was supposed to go to. So, it was supposed to go to a porcelain tea set. And it's a little plate. And so when I saw that, I was like, oh my gosh, of course, after I had already paid for that one. So I went ahead and did two separate ones. So this was $6 total, which shocked, shocked me. When I looked at the tag, I took it up to the counter and the lady goes, oh, Sue, so did you see something else you want? And I was like, um, I'm thinking about it. And I picked this up and I showed her the tag and I'm like, does that say $6? And she goes, yes, it says $6. And she goes, that's a really good deal. And she's like, it's so pretty. She goes, I like that. And she started pointing out the little roses. She's like, I just love that. I said, that's what attracted me. And I said, I can't believe I walked past it and never even saw it on my way to the counter to pay. So I was a little disappointed that I didn't see it till after. And so I was glad I got it. And I think it was under, I think I paid, because I can't remember how much I paid for the whole thing. I just remember this was $6 total, which isn't bad because I figured they were paying, selling this one separate. Like a lot of places do so this one for six and this one for six you know and so then after we went there carol had seen across the street that there was another like antique store thing she's like it looks like an antique store across the street you want to check it out and i said sure so we go across the street and it had vintage signs up and so i went in carol's like i don't know if i can go in after going through you know like like i said six seven eight nine ten places i'm like oh that's fine and then she came inside and and walked around and then said she had she decided to go ahead and go back out because when i walked in the first thing i noticed when i kind of glanced around was they had some kind of food place so there was like weird food smell in there and so then i started walking along and they had some real cute stuff so this place is another one that i'm going to want to go to just like this one the next place was the another one i want to go to they had like i said such cute things they had um i saw someone had some little um bridal figurines for wedding cake toppers um they had some vin they had some of the vintage avon perfume bottles the person was selling them for 12 dollars each i didn't grab any as you can see i'm like i need to come back because they had some cute ones on there and then i saw another hand vase i forget how much that one was i think it might have been 25 or something and the lady that was standing there buying from her was like she's got such cute things and i'm like they had some real cute things in that little booth and then i saw some halloween stuff and some glassware and i, I was looking at uh, some kind of giant um box thing i guess is what you could call it it was, it was like porcelain or ceramic and it was all frilly like it had all kinds of roses and it kind of went along with the path of some of these things i've bought at like goodwill and I was like, oh, that's so cute. And I was kind of glint looking at it. And it was like 20 or 25. I think it was 20. Yeah, I think it was 20 because I was shocked it was 20. And so I kind of was looking at it. And I, just, I decided not to get it. And so I was kind of like, oh. I should Now I'm probably like, I should have gotten it. And they had all kinds of cute little figurines. And I saw little Cupid dolls. And little, um, just little porcelain, doll, porcelain dolls they had. They had little porcelain figurines ceramic figurines i mean they had all kinds of cute stuff in that place i was like okay i want to come back here i see vintage avon perfume bottles i see figurines i see all kinds of just neat stuff in this place some areas were dark like when you walked in it was like how are you supposed to see the price thing it's so dark over here other places had glow in the dark lights on so they could glow up the um the glassware which i've seen in other places um, I saw one place, one booth that had um, some kind of music and like a waterfall. I'm like, okay, this is interesting. And then um, other places were really well lit up. I'm like, it's like all kinds of different things going on in this place. I was like, 
it kind of fascinated me. So I'm hoping we can go back to that one too. Because I see myself spending money in that last place. The place that had this one. Um, like I said, the, the, one, the other one that we said we wanted to check out the place next door to them. There was at least four or five places I could see myself spending money in. So I think I did really good going into the antique stores. I only, like I said, I didn't spend very much, as you can see. And um, I'm really happy with what I got. I'm hoping to get to go to those places again. Maybe I can buy some of them figurines. Some of the other stuff that I saw that were real cute. Um, after we were done going to our lots and lots of antique stores, we headed to Wendy's and got uh, lunch. My ex then I posted the pumpkin spice frosty that we finally got to try. We both liked that. Carol got um, some more of the queso fries. She said the queso fries were good. I still have not tried the queso fries. We're not sure about the queso burger and the chicken sandwich I told her that they have. We're both still not sure about that one. And then we were talking about the Arby's um, game burger. And we're both like, ew. My dad, I was telling my dad about it, and he's like, uh. I said, yeah, I know. I thought when they said game burger, I thought it was some kind of like game day thing, you know? Like some kind of special games playing. Like they choose a game or something and do some kind of game day special. I didn't know it was a game burger. So we were talking about that and how nasty that sounded. And um, both of us, like I said, like the pumpkin frosty. Um... Like I said, I still have not tried the queso fries. Um, like I said, then I came home and I went to sleep for a few hours after I ate. And then finished out the night. Watching we watching uh, League of MX. I did start out watching League One and then I fell asleep because I guess I was so exhausted. And then I decided to make this video before I get ready for bed for the night. I need to fold laundry. I washed and dried towels before I left and they were in the dryer when I left and came home and I'm like I pulled them out of the dryer brought them to my room and now I need to fold them I also need to make myself something to eat because I have not eaten since earlier today so I think that is it for my day I hope you have a good day thank you for watching bye